If it doesn't work, then it won't make any sense at all. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now a little while ago I saw online and I can't remember where I saw it or who I saw it from but they were carving rubbers or some people call them erasers and creating little prints with them and I thought it looked like such a fun little idea and I remember when I was at school I used to always have a rubber and you would like stab it and poke holes in it and stuff but I never thought of printing with it and I thought that's a genius idea and I want to give it a go today so that's what we're going to be doing. Okay, so I've got some little rubbers here, which will be perfect. I also bought a big bag of stamping inks. And then I have this little tool that I got. Can you remember when I tried out that lino printing kit? And print it down. I'm pretty sure this came from that. And obviously I've kept it because I like to keep everything. <laughs> and yeah, it should be relatively straightforward and easy. Well, that's, that's it, easy. I think the person I saw do it created some like really intricate designs. Do you think I can create intricate designs? I don't think I can, but we'll see what I can do. Right, so I've got an eraser here and I'm going to need a very, very thin little nib. Let's see if this has got a thin one. That one might work actually. That's probably the best one. You might have also noticed my very, very sexy t-shirt that Luxinda gave us. Absolutely love it. If Luxinda sells these, you should buy them. I don't know whether she does, but they're well nice. They're really comfortable as well. Okay, so what design do I want to do? I think I want to start quite simple and basic, just so I know what I'm doing and seeing if I can actually do anything. I was going to go for flowers or like a meadow or a field or something, but I always do that. So I might try and do like a cityscape. And with lino printing, you always go away from you. So you don't cut yourself because if you notice on my finger now it's not going to look that bad on camera but it's, it's quite painful i've got a big cut on the very tip of the finger that you use all the time and i cut it on a bit of foil at work and then the, you know when there's like a little bit of skin hanging off and i decided to like peel it off with my teeth and just made it a million times worse so i don't want to be cutting myself anymore i'll tell you straight away cutting into a rubber is so much easier than cutting into lino it is like it's just like butter it is so simple i don't know why i thought of doing like a cityscape i should have just just done one big skyscraper because this is going to be so hard. The person who else I'll do it though, they did amazing things. You're not going to get that quality here by the way. I'm just putting that out there right now. Don't want to get anyone's expectations too high. <laughs> This is a million times easier than doing lino printing. Well, lino cutting. I don't know about the printing aspect of it yet, but because I always find lino printing, actually cutting into the lino, it's really, really hard. Okay, so I've done like a very, very basic little cityscape, but that looks quite cool, doesn't it? I hope it prints out quite nice because it has taken me about 10 minutes to do. Right, let's have a look at these. I think I just want to go for a black. Okay, so then we just dip our rubber into the ink, get it nice and covered. Perfect. And then, fingers crossed, this is going to work. Ah, <gasps> oh, oh, that looks so cool. Ah, oh, I've done really well. I'm surprised. I thought I was going to do shit. And the best thing about this is you can kind of do multiple stamps and you just get different kind of effects because the ink wears off. Oh, I'm proper chuffed. Ah, oh, look at these. I'm so pleased with myself. I think you need to calm down. How nice are they? Obviously, that was my first one. That's the darkest one. But how cool do they look? I think that actually does look like a little cityscape. And you can see it obviously getting more and more transparent. Proper pleased with myself. I don't know whether you can tell. You need to stop it. Right. I want to do another one. That was so, so easy, by the way. If you've ever wanted to do lino printing and you've always kind of thought it looked quite stressful or a bit difficult, start with a little pack of rubbers. So cheap, so inexpensive. Just slung one across the studio. Get yourself some little stamping ink. Cost you a few quid and then just go crazy. I think this would be quite good as well for people who scrapbook to make like little symbols. You could even do repeated designs and decorate a page or something. Right, what design do I want to do next? So I obviously can't do a video like this without doing something very simple. So I'm going to try and do like a little plan. And when I say simple, it's going to be very simple. But I'm going to try and do some curves. And curves are a lot harder to do than straight lines. So wish me luck. In fact, I'm going to do kind of like a vine rather than a flower. Okay, that wasn't too bad. You know what? I'm not just saying this. I think I've found something I'm really good at. Well, it's about fucking time. I know. Shocking. I know. Very, very shocking. But I think I'm actually quite good at this. I'm not a complete useless waste of space. I'm talented. <laughs> Because I haven't even stamped this one yet, and I think this one's going to look really good. I am wondering when to stop, though. So there we go, like a nice little vine. How cool is that? I think that looks really good, actually. And I think we'll obviously stamp this one in green. The only thing I sometimes struggle with when stamping is a steady hand. Because if you knock this and you screw the entire thing over, you have to be very, very kind of still. 
Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, that one's worked so well. Look how cool that is. So all the way from dark, and then just getting more and more subtle as it goes along and fades. And I think that looks like a vine. It's just a nice little pattern, isn't it? Oh, so talented. Right, I want to do another one. I'm actually really enjoying this. It makes a change because I do usually like to complain about everything. And on the subject of change as well, I've got some kind of... Not really life-changing news, but I've got some news. And at the time of recording, it's Saturday. Then I'm at work on Monday. Then that's my final shift at my job. And I start a completely new job. I've actually been keeping... Well, I haven't been keeping it a secret, but I've been keeping it to myself. Mainly because I know what my life's like. And it's kind of a weird thing to say, but if I put something out into the universe, the universe has a habit of coming back and, like, slapping us. <laughs> So I didn't want to jinx it or anything like that, but I start a new job in a couple of weeks' time. I'll still be working at the hospital, but it's a completely different department, a completely different company, completely different role. I won't be doing any cooking or anything like that ever again, which I'm very pleased about, and I can only imagine the people who have tried my food are very pleased about as well. I don't know why I got into a catering job when I'm literally so shit at cooking. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to start this new job. I hope everything does go through, and I haven't, like, because I put my notice in, like, a month ago, and I haven't put my notice us in, I leave, and then it all falls apart, and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm jobless. I have a habit in my mind of going to the worst case scenario. I can never celebrate something until I'm fully aware and know for sure that it's an actual thing. I don't know whether anyone else is like that. I just, I don't like to celebrate things too soon because just shit happens all the time. Just something crap will always happen, so I like to wait till the very, very not even last second till way after the last second until I can finally celebrate something good that's happened in my life. I don't know whether that's a sad thing. I think it's just a cautious thing. It's a cautious attitude to have. That's what I have. And hopefully I like this new job. I have met a good chunk of the people that I'm going to be working with and stuff. And they all seem really, really lovely. They seem so friendly. So that's... It's a nice change. No, the, the, some of the people I work with at the moment are really lovely as well. I just want to slag everyone off. There's only a couple that I don't like. So yes, exciting times. I'll actually be working less days than I'm working now. So I'll only be working three days a week instead of five days a week. But I'll be working more hours than I work now. So I'll be doing some long, long ass shifts. Like the three days that I am at work, I'm basically there all day. So by the time this video comes out, I might have started that job. So if I'm a bit delayed or a bit kind of behind on getting back to comments and messages and stuff, that's why it's because I'm at work. Okay, let's start this with a print. I don't know what I want to do now. I've done vines, I've done cityscapes. What's, what's left? That's it. Okay, so for this one, I might just try and do like an abstract pattern. But when it comes to the stamping technique, I might try and do like a two or three toned print, if that makes sense. It'll make sense when I get to it, if it works. And if it doesn't work, then it won't make any sense at all. This is going to be a very basic design, but I just want to show everyone the possibilities and inspire as many people as I can. Okay, so this time I've just done like a little diagonal stripey pattern. Very, very simple. But this time I'm going to use four different colours. I'll go for a purple, a red, go for blue and yellow. And then instead of stamping the rubber onto the ink patches, I'm going to actually brush the ink onto it. If I go for a bit of red, and then we'll do purple, and then blue, and then finally a bit of yellow. And let's get this stamped, see if this works. Oh, that's so cool. So there we have it, like a nice little multicolored striped design, which you could obviously do loads more with it, but I, I think that's a fun little pattern, isn't it? And the best thing with something like this is obviously if you create a cool little design or a design you absolutely love, you can easily just wash all the ink off and then do a different color and do like crazy repeat patterns. You can do so much with it. I've, I've done the very, very basic today and uh, I just excelled at it. You're so hot and you're so talented. I just, I had absolutely no idea I was I was going to be so good at this. I thought I was going to be absolutely shite. <laughs> well, I think that just about does it for today's little video of stamp making. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know if this is something that you're willing to try. I think a lot of my viewers would actually really enjoy this. I think especially, again, if you're into scrapbooking or like junk journals and stuff, you could add some just nice little, just decorative touches to pages and stuff. Really cost 
cost effective too. Such a cheap little idea. And if you come across any little crafty things that you want me to try on the channel, feel free to leave your suggestions in the comments below. It takes me forever to get round to them. It takes me so long, but I do eventually get round to them. I added to my list. I've got a list over there. It's it's literally like 10 miles long, but I, I, I get round to it at some point. And I'll see you next week for a brand new video. The thing is, like, I've done some like proper basic things with this, but you could easily do, you could even make wallpaper doing something like this. That's all, oh, look at my t-shirt. I've been distracted. Oh my god. It frames my boobs perfectly. Are my hands on my nipples? No, my nipples are too far away. If my hands were on my nipples, they'd be there. That'd be a bit lopsided, wouldn't it? People have lopsided nipples, so that's fine. There's nothing to worry about or be concerned about. Nipples are nipples.